against Cruiser for the Victorians. So it'll be interesting to see how the big men can influence the game. Gary Moss gets first possession for Western Australia. So impressive was he when he came on the ground at Princess Park. The other... Gumbledon was mi missing up and down the ground last week. Would you yeah. expect it? Everett to play forward, or is that... No, Everett would normally play in defence. He's okay. a defender, back pocket, uh, cross at centre-half back. W.A. Rebecca Namara, managed to take the defensive mark. Been interesting to get your comments too on the match, and it looks like they're going with Anderson from uh, Vic Metro at a great game on Sunday against Moss, who had 30 possessions. Pops it up. Why wouldn't you? Looking for Hawkins, two on one. They're going to be conscious of him. Lewenberger for W.A. Good hands at ground level. Was calm and composed. He shares it with... He's genuine ruckman size in terms of his height. He's over the, he's about the 202 centimetres, uh, six foot eight in, in the old. Increasing in its support, you probably can't see it from the monitor, but there's a large contingent of supporters and scouts and agents and all sorts of people, just inter interested spectators on our side of the ground. The game, let's see if Hawkins can add this string to his bow, if he's got some skills in the ruck department. He certainly had the body to out point Lewenberger and that takes some doing he's a lump of, he's a lump of a lad the West Australian last year for WA at under 18 level was a star at under 16 level and was a member of the RES AFL Academy and we saw him close up through that series against the Irish three years ago ball in the middle of the ground we'll get down to Damien Marty soon for an update from boundary side as soon as we get a stoppage in play here Lewenberger for WA shares it now Virgo was the intended receiver but Hawley and, and when you've got such good ones as Vic, Vic Metro do, then uh, very rarely they're going to be outmarked. So you've got to have those players in position to crumb and, and finish off their, their contested footy. Lewenberg is showing a good Ace. turn of pace as he ran around the outside of that pack, read the loose ball very, very well. It's and that's I right. think that's uh, probably an important aspect of it. Well, it's, sorry, I was just going to say, Dixon's ran 100. He's far too sore, and they've ruled him out for the rest of the match. Well, that's a blow for Brock O'Brien, who would have had such high hopes coming across and being able to show the football world what he's got to offer. And Brock O'Brien playing at senior level over there at Peel Thunder as well with Gumbleton, coached there by Chris Waterman. So once he recovers in the next week or two from the hammy, yep. he's still got the rest of the, the waffle. About to start. You're on afl.com.au. Thanks to Big Pond watching the NAB AFL Under-18 Championships from Skilled Stadium. And just as David Dixon said, not letting... Lewenberger, very impressive when he jumps. It goes over now to... As well as he would have liked. Uh, he's capable of really kicking a bag full. Gee, that was exciting stuff. Give my boys a pump, Kevin, every time they can. And why not? Lewenberger goes with both hands and gets it on the second bite over the top of Cruiser. He's uh, growing in stature in this game. Young Matthew Lewenberger goes towards centre-half forward. Vic Metro have got the numbers. Ball comes down to ground. Nine handballs received, so he's doing a lot of work and running when he hasn't got the footy and being rewarded with a lot of possessions. An excellent tackle by Collar. Do you look at the size as well as what he does when he gets the footy? Is all that something that you process? Oh, I think they do. Sometimes uh, I don't think it's as relevant as what it's, what it's made out to be. A lead by eight, but it's a much better second quarter performance by WA. Jenna tackled without the ball and himself in a bit of space on his right foot. Here Lewenberger drifts into the contest, can't take the mark down to ground. Hawley was there for Vic Metro, couldn't take possession. Lewenberger, yet another good second or third effort at ground level. Couldn't get the handball away, we've got to throw in. Let's go down to Damien Marnie down at ground level. Damo? Thanks very much, Andrew. Just an update on Dean Kelly. We saw him before with the ice on the knee. The physio said uh, he received a knock, but he was very cagey as to whether he'd be coming back on. He said he may come back on. Looks like he's certainly ready. He's sending all the indications to the box that he wants to come back on, Jane. Yeah, I think they're going to give him a trial for a couple of minutes. We saw him running around the boundary. He didn't look comfortable. But Gavin Marson. Brown, Stephen Silvani, Andrew Marr. Andrew Marr went to Marston. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love to go. Get me within Selfish. five metres and I'd never miss. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed from five metres. Though. Everett, brother of Spider, of course. He's some genetic similarity. Was the Irish uh, earlier this year and had a very good series overall. Fair to suggest we might get a bit excited about him in the next 12 months. Virgo received the handball from Lewenberg, who was a Lewenberger, I should say. It was a wonderful mark and it was matched by the finish. The big... He covers the ground well, he's far from the plotter. There's the leap uh, and then that contested mark. He kept his head up. Their own way in the first quarter again. Gumbleton in the clearance gets the handball out. There's Lewenberger. He can't take the mark. 
big tackle by Riddle from Vic Metro, but another one forward for Western Australia just. And, and that was the, the finish that uh, on Hawkins that he had the other day, straight through the centre. He's kicked one three so far and he missed some pretty gettable opportunities in the first quarter. Virgo's I knew the temptation was great for you, but you resisted it nicely. Anderson runs onto the ruck contest. Tries to... Western Australians have put all the pressure on, and this is the time you really see who goes, makes good decisions under heat. Under the heat of knowing you're about to be tackled, you push toward the boundary line and you can't get on your preferred foot, and then who can really make a great choice with the way they use the footy. But uh, as we go to the break, there's a little bit of feeling out there. Pretty impressive for Metro. But the momentum going to the halftime break was certainly with Western Australia. The father, Sam Ruley's father, Noel, had played at Claremont, but that rule has just tightened up a little bit, and uh, Jared is now not eligible under the father, Sam Ruley, so he's in the draft. Midfield as well. Uh, and look, he doesn't fumble the ball, he's courageous, uh, probably has got enough tricks. Um, so, Mum, okay. and, and uh, yeah, so and he's got a great hunger to, to want to play. It's uh, excellent in that area. Lewenberger wins the tap. Hawkins roved it beautifully. Gets it out now to Vasilevsky. He shares it. He's been an umpire's man. There's no doubt about it. It's amazing that he didn't pull more votes in a round like middle. Vasilevsky back on the ground. He's moving OK there, Andy. He's moving nicely now. Maston goes to Colburn for three-quarter time. Badly needed. Lewenberger couldn't take the mark. Reading it best was at best. Wayne Harms type, I reckon. He's just got those fast twitch fibres, a strong body. Harms, he could roost it as well. Hawley on the left boot. Huh? You brought my binoculars. Lewenberger wins the first tap out. Anderson runs onto the loose ball again. Stands under the ball, waiting for something to get someone to release it to. But finds some space, wins the hard ball. Lewenberger with an important fist. Jared Malloy applauding that. Palmer now clears the danger area. Jetta. Dawes pushing up, contesting against Lewenberger. Contest is on. Dawes continues to follow the footy and does it nicely. I speak about that uh, at quarter time. They don't want to allow the space over the back for the West Australians to run onto it because their pace and use of the footy will, will certainly hurt you. Lewenberger was outstanding. Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, for Maston, he drives it towards centre half forward. Lewenberger in front. Allen keeps him out. Lewenberger's done some good work when the ball's hit the ground. A chance here. Stumble. Dick tried to let the ball come to him. Didn't really anticipate. Goes to Vez Premi. He's confident when he's got the ball in his hands. Vez Premi. Lewenberger can't take the mark. It's down to Grant Benjamin. Shares it with Palmer. Back to Dick. Dick now goes back to Maston. They're overhandling the footy on the negatives. <coughs> But Brad Dick probably went under the footy then. Is that Has something to do better. that recruiters will take notice of? Oh, look, I think that uh, uh, Jerry McNeil would be very unhappy with that. You just have to. Oh, because uh, on Sunday, six goals won didn't look like missing. Yeah. If I was Jerry Maguire, <laughs> the uh, fictional very similar to him, sporting agent, the way you go about things. Thank you very much. I would be making an absolute beeline to Tom Hawkins if somebody hasn't already, some sports agent hasn't already signed him up. Two baggers and they need it all at the moment. Lewenberger gets his fist to ball. He's done some good work. McNamara a chance on the left foot. Runs onto it. Looks for dinner. It's skilled what the West Coast Eagles oh. did to the Cats. I like it, Kevin. Oh. I like it. Maybe that could have been mentioned among the, the group in the last number of minutes. Well, if they can kick another one quickly here, all sorts of possibilities will present themselves. Victoria Metro are Fantastic with his attack on the footy and uh, as we've discussed, unselfish play from Hawkins. Outstanding four-quarter performance by Backer Hawley. Collard. The conditions that Dean Dick would have experienced in WA, faster, bigger grounds. Here, quite slippery underfoot, a hell of a lot colder. All those factors come into it. Nice grab from Lewenberger in a big pack of players. He specul speculatively pokes the ball back inside 50. He pronounced it. I thought he's been very good, and I like the way that he uses the footy. Uh, Backer Hawley's been outstanding. I think he's probably been the best player on the ground today. For WA, would be the Indigenous trio: Sean Colbung, uh, Clayton Collard.